just reading on the summary of page 39. I think it's really, really uh, f therapeutic reading. I find it um, the, the source of reading Cleopatra, the ancient Egyptian, was um, half Macedonian, half Egyptian. It's not simply that Arabic sources on Cleopatra provide a correction to a perceived bias and dis distortion of the reputation produced by the Romans. They're accepted into the legends of the Western world. We're talking about the 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 ethical side of the M Fisnesty. The different cultures, the cultural background, the cultural world of the political debate is um, overwhelmingly bringing everyone together to grasp a great debate. Let's take it on board that you should all accept these habilitations, but you should all not be arrogant and say she's white nor black, bringing us all together as one. So, the, yeah, the correction to a preserved bias of the source in the reputation produced by the Romans accepted into the legend of the Western world. As already mentioned, the Romans and their Arabic sources most likely drew upon the same or, or comparable historical material about Cleopatra. What accounts for the very different reputations generated by the Roman authors and the med medieval Arabic writers is no different source of material but how they choose to assent and interp interpretate the same uh, material. The Octavian's propaganda produced images of Cleopatra as a scheming seductress Whereas medieval Arabic sources focus on her role as a strong ruler and a scholar, rather than using the exoticism like minded, like she was a whore like woman, separating the men with a figure, a sexual figure. It's more of a strong ruler and a scholar. How she generated the power of construction, building the empire as one, which generates in contrast a picture of her and as a queen and a diplomatic consorting on equal terms with philosophers and scientists, we might be doubtful of the ultimate accuracy of either of these images of Cleopatra. But the medieval Arabic sources do show us that the Roman version of Cleopatra is the only way to see her, nor indeed the only way that people do see her. What makes a difference is how we look at her and what we want to find. The people uh, it can go scarcely around these religions making somebody a different... Uh, different type of blood, different type of breed. It's not fair. Being a schooler, the way you want to school people into one equal human being. What we all one human being. We all share the same, share the same water. We all share the same food. We all share the same God. How we preach the different um, ethnic ability gods is I don't know. It's strange, but I know we all speak different language because we're from different areas of, of of the world. But as one, we shouldn't be going to war and fighting with one another. As scholars, we preach um, amicable news, such as let's keep it mixed. Everything, everything in life should be mixed race to accountability for everyone's accountable actions. Especially in schools, it's it's, sub it's subjects to one minority of the school. So you got one, so you got one white kid in a, in a black school, or vice versa, or you got one uh, Muslim kid in a in a Catholic school. You know, it's, it's, it's swings and roundabouts. It's all equal opportunities. Call it reciprocation. This is why I'm a man of great wisdom, a man of great knowledge. I want to be accountable for my speech, accountable for my action, accountable for the way I use my terminology. I'm Professor Johnson, inside my academic integrity, arts and humanities.